Hello, Namaskar. This is First Post and you're watching Vantage with me, Palki Sharma. After days of build-up, the Rafah attack has begun. Israel is raining fire on the Gazan city as America halts military shipments. Netanyahu shoots a defiant message to Joe Biden. He says Israelis will fight with their fingernails. But beyond the rhetoric, how is Israel placed and how much damage can the American move cause them? We'll discuss all of that. In the South China Sea, another escalation. Beijing claims it has struck a secret deal with Manila. It has leaked audio recordings as proof. We'll tell you what this is all about. Also, why the West has declared war on Chinese electric vehicles. From Europe to America, they're all talking tariffs to bar Chinese cars. In India, companies are adopting artificial intelligence faster than the rest of the world. We'll bring you the findings of a new report. In Bangladesh, a visit by India's top diplomat amid reports that China is eyeing a major project on the Tista River. In Pakistan-occupied Kashmir, a brutal crackdown on a peaceful protest. Two schoolgirls said to be killed. You may not see these reports in the Western press or concerns over human rights of Kashmiris here. In Nepal, the government is prioritizing mental health of pregnant women and young mothers. We'll tell you how. Elon Musk's brain chip is reporting a technical glitch. What does that mean? Netflix is betting big on Africa, but it faces serious competition. And why Japanese bread is making news. All this and more coming up, the headlines first. In India, the Supreme Court grants interim bail to Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. He had sought relief to campaign for the ongoing general election. The court asks the Chief Minister to, su to surrender on the 2nd of June, a day after the final phase of polling for the Lok Sabha. China's new ambassador to India takes charge, says ready to work with New Delhi to find solutions to outstanding issues. The post was vacant for 18 months. Relations between the two countries have been frozen, except for trade, since the Ladakh border standoff in May 2020. Taiwan's Air Force holds live fire training exercises. Fighter jets, missiles and laser-guided bombs were deployed during this exercise. This comes just days before the inauguration of a new president, seen by China as a quote-unquote dangerous separatist. Beijing claims Taiwan as part of its territory. The United Kingdom exits recession after its economy reported better than expected growth in the first quarter. This is much needed good news for embattled Prime Minister Rishi Sunak before this year's general election. And heat stroke has already claimed more than 60 lives in Thailand this year. That's more than the total number of deaths from it throughout 2023. A delayed monsoon season and the El Nino phenomenon are being blamed for the high temperatures. First Post reports from the world's second largest continent. Hello, I'm Alison Lagrange. A very warm welcome from Durban, South Africa. We get you the news and the newsmakers from Africa. South Africa goes to the polls on the 29th of May. I will track the election and bring you ground reports. Is it the end of the road for the African National Congress? And will former President Jacob Zuma stage a dramatic comeback? From elections to climate change to innovations and opportunities. As the world's attention shifts, we report from Africa, the heart of the Global South. Join me every weekday live on First Post.